All right, welcome back guys to tutorial number 26. Now, before we start off though, on borders, I need to explain the CSS box model. Now, according to this box model, every HTML element can be considered as a box. Now, this box has the following four pieces, a content, a padding, a border, and a margin. For example, um, let's say consider that you're wrapping a gift for your f for your friend's birthday. So what you do is you have the main content, and let's say it's 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 a gift that is made out of glass and is very fragile. So what you do is you add some sort of a padding of some kind of paper, let's say newspaper. So you wrap that gift around with newspaper, which is the padding, and then you enclose it within the gift box. Now this gift box is like the border in our box model. And finally, if you place your gift next to your friend's gift, the amount of space between the two gift boxes is nothing but the margin. And this box model is a very important concept in CSS. So let's learn these one at a time and let's start off with the border. Now the first property that we can have for a border is the border style. So let's create for an h1 element the different types of borders that are possible so as i mentioned the first property is border style now the possible values well there are several values that we can assign to a border style the first one let's consider a dotted value let me create an h1 element and box model let that be the text when you save and refresh it, so there we go. We have an h1 tag box model, and this is going to have a border, and the style of this border is going to be dotted. We can also have a dashed border by specifying dashed as the value. So when you refresh it, you have a dashed border. We also have solid when you save it, refresh, you have a solid border around the H1 tag. Now there are two more values, inset, which kind of gives you a 3D look. If you refresh it, there you go. It looks like the box model is embedded inside some sort of a box. And we also have outset. So when you save it, reload it, and there you go. The box model now looks as if it is elevated from the web page. Now, the second property that we can have for our border is the border width. So, border width, and let's say we can specify something like 10 pixels. And let me just quickly change this to solid so that it is easier to notice the difference. And there you go. So, we have the width of the border 10 pixels. Now it is also possible to specify a color for our border. So border, color, and let's say orange. When you save it, reload it, our border is now going to have an orange color. Now here's the thing though, you can individually specify the border style, width and color for each or the four parts of the border. So you have a left border, you have a right border, you have a top border and a bottom border. So let's say we want to assign a specific color only to the left border. So border, left, color, let's say this we need it in green. And then border, bottom, color. Let's say we can have this in blue color. Now when we save it, we can also have a right color, but yeah, let's go with three for now. So what happens is that the top color is going to be orange, which is the original border color. And then we have specified that the left should be in green and the bottom should be in blue. So we have a left border in green color and the, and the bottom border in blue color. Now this individuality can be applied to bottom style and bottom width as well so you can have bottom top width or bottom sorry border bottom width border top width and so on 
Now one last thing is the shorthand notation of the border property. So we can have something just like instead of specifying a whole lot of things, border and then you can specify first the width. So let's say five pixels. Then you can specify the border style. Let's say a solid style and we can specify a color. Let's say blue. Now when you save it and reload it, so what that does is it's going to create a border that is five pixels in red. It is going to be of style solid and a color blue. So this is the shorthand notation that comes in handy uh, a lot of times. But yeah, that's pretty much it about borders. In the next video, let us learn about padding. So thank you guys for watching.